Hi, in this third tutorial of the X and Grace tutorials, I will show you how to make more than one plot using X and Grace within the same X and Grace window. So I will show you how to make four different plots. And I will also show you how we can make two of the plots have the same axis, like a common Y axis, for example. We can also make all the four plots have common X and Y axis that is easily doable using X and Grace. This is to demonstrate the kind of precise control we have in the graph arrangement or the axis arrangement in X and Grace. So let's just get started. I have four different data files here. Let me just open one using X and Grace. As you can see here, this one plot occupies the entire window, but we want to fit four of such plots in this window. So let's just um, push this plot to the top left corner so we can have one in the top left corner and one the top right, bottom left and bottom, uh, bottom right. So we, have like, we can have four different plots. In order to do that, what we need to do is basically arrange the graphs. So go to edit and click arrange graphs. G0 here corresponds to the plot we have here, the data set. And we are going to push it to one corner of the window by changing the page offsets, the top, right, bottom, and left. I am pretty good with this because I've been using X and Grace for quite some time now. But you uh, can play around with these numbers, tweak them a little bit, and you'll know what are the uh, appropriate or the right choices. So in order to push it to the top left corner, we can um, change the top margin to 0 0.05, the right one to maybe 0 0.7. Okay, that's too bad, but then we can also tweak this. And the bottom margin to 0.6, cool. And this we can just leave it at 0.1. There we go, we've shifted the plot here. Okay, now, click accept. Uh, so I want to make two things cl uh, clear here. One, I'm not going to go through what we did in tutorial two to present the data well, because that's not the focus of this tutorial. Here we're only trying to show how we can make more than one plot in the same X and Grace window. And the other thing is, let's go back to edit, arrange graphs. I would strongly suggest to take a note of these numbers uh, note them down in notebook whenever you're changing the page offsets because once you reopen the AGR file that you save or you import another data set and you make changes to its page offsets and you want to go back to the first data set, you will not see the original page offsets. So these basically take in the latest values that you put in them. So you will not be able to access the old values that you gave them. Of course, it's not going to change anything unless, of course, you uh, select that particular graph or, or the data set and click on apply or accept with the new values. That will definitely change its position, but otherwise you're good. This is just to know what values you gave so that if you want to make any other tweaks to that, you can do it with much more ease. For now, we don't really have anything to do here. Just click accept. Now go to data. We want to import another data set. So import ASCII. We don't have any .dat files, we only have text files, so click data two. In order to create a new data set, right click and select create new, that's what we did. So I haven't shown in the previous two tutorials how to add more than one data set. So in order to do that, you can always right click and click on create new, and that will generate a new data set. Here we have G1 with zero sets. It does not have a set. So you make sure the data underscore two text goes as a set here. You click OK. OK, so you see the data too. It's basically plotted. Um, it, it's thrice of a number plotted against the number. So it's just that. Now we want to arrange it. OK, so we can push it to the bottom left corner, okay? And in order to do that, let's tweak some parameters. Um, okay, sorry, see, I was selecting G0, which is a mistake, I should not be doing that. Make sure you select the data set that you want, so click G1 and, okay, it still shows the error because the bottom uh, offset is 0.6, which is super huge, so let's make it 0.1, and there you go. 
uh, we don't have to change 0.7 and 0.1 because we want the top and bottom plots to be of the same width. So we keep them constant, but we change the top and bottom margins, okay? So I am giving extra spaces here, here, and here, and here because the axis labels can go there. Okay, so we have two plots here. Now just click accept. Let's import another plot. Um, this time I want to import, okay, let's just create one, click on G2. The, one, the new one. I want to import data one here and send it to the top right corner so that um, in the next step when we try to make sure they both have the same axis, it will be easier. Uh, it's just for that. So I'm gonna import data one again as a new data set and go to edit, arrange graphs. Remember to select G2 and now change these values. We want to keep the same values um, for the top right plot as we had for the top left plot. So we, we are gonna tweak the other values, of course. Using these values, we were able to send it here and all the plots are of the same size. Okay, and this here, the spacing here will allow for the axis labels to go in. The last plot, let's import again, create new, just like a good practice. Um, let's try to import data set three, click OK, um, go to edit, arrange graphs, remember to click on G3, and now um, change these values, 0 0.04, 0 0.1, 0 0.76, perfect. So here we go. This is how we can make more than one plot in the same X embrace window. We've made four plots here. And we have left enough spaces for the axis label. So if you want, we can go to plot axis properties. So if you want to see which plot is selected, you can just go to plot. Maybe um, plot appearance is not a good one. Probably graph appearance. You can see that the G0 is selected, okay? So go to axis properties and try and type um, Y label one and you get it there. Okay. Type X label one, you get it there. Perfect. Right now click on that. Okay. And you're on that particular plot. Go to axis. You should, all you have to do is double click on the plot and you basically select it and X label to see there you go so this way by clicking on each plot you're able to select the plot and then you go to plot access properties and you can type in the labels and make whatever changes you want to make to the plot now that we have um, shown how to make four different plots in and grace how do we go about if you want to make um, two plots with a common y-axis, for example? So let's consider these two plots. Um, we want them both to have the same y-axis. So what we can do is, let's go to edit, arrange graphs. It's G0 and G1 that we have to focus on. So for G0, let's just tweak these numbers a little bit, okay? Um, Uh, we have 0.05, maybe we can have 0.615 here, 0 0.6, 0 0.085. Again, I'm very familiar with these numbers because I have been making plots in Xandrace for quite some time. Um, now, what we have done is we have tweaked this plot around a little bit so that moves more towards the right and now our job is to make this plot of the same size and make it move more towards the left so click on g1 the top and bottom margins are not gonna change instead we are gonna tweak this the right and left values so um Okay, what have you done here? Okay, I'm so sorry. I clicked on G1, which is the bottom left plot that shouldn't be here. But never mind. Um, 
we have saved the values for that. So I'm going to send it back to its position. It could be quite a bit of a problem sometimes, but it's not too bad. It's back again. Now let's select G2 and um, let's make changes here. 0 0.05, 0 0.02, 0 0.6, 0 0.68. Cool. Now click accept. With the new tweaked values, we were able to move this plot slightly to the left. You can take a note of these values if you want here. Uh, but what I would recommend is like at every change you make, uh, please take a note of these values. I know it's kind of uh, tedious, but then like it's just in the beginning where you keep tweaking around and playing with the values. But once you develop some sort of an intuition for, okay, approximately what values would be ideal, you won't really find it that difficult. It's, it's just a piece of cake. Um, just make sure you note the values and that should do it. Anyway, click accept. Uh, now that these two have the same axis, we don't need the tick labels here, right? So why don't we select that? Um, see X label two, again, indicates that we are in the right plot. Um, so if you click on the axis, the axis window corresponding to that plot opens straight away sometimes. So uh, all the time, actually. So that's an easier trick. Um, let's select Y axis because we don't want the tick labels for the Y axis. So go to the display options, display tick labels, uncheck it, apply. The tick labels are gone. And there you go. You have merged two plots and made sure they have a common Y axis. So this is how you go about uh, making multiple plots in XM Grace. Uh, as you can see, the Arrange Graphs option gives you a precise control over the placement of different graphs. You don't have to struggle much with that. Um, yeah, so this is um, our work. And don't forget to save your plot. You can always come back to it and make any modifications if you have the AGR file. So go to File, Save, um, and why don't we call it four plots b1.agr. Um, I would always uh, recommend versioning because you never know how many edits you're going to make to a plot or in general to any file. So it's better to have some sort of, you know, uh, versioning with the file. So you know which one's the latest version. And click OK. So we have saved it. And of course, you can go through tutorial two and see how we can make more changes to this plot. That is always doable. Um, also, if you have noticed, we have an overlap of labels at this point. So what you can do is probably go to axis properties and go to X axis. And maybe here, um, okay, we can remove the five from plot one. Okay, so maybe just go until four. Um, I'm sorry, that shouldn't be that way. Okay, let's make it have five, but then um, you can make the five label disappear by going uh, to tick marks, or sorry, special, and special ticks, say tick marks and labels, and go to one, two, three, four, delete the one with five, and click apply. So if you go to the special tab and click on tick marks and labels, you have precise control over what tick marks you want or what, what tick labels you want. So here, uh, this is the kind of spacing or the, um, the major or minor tick locations here you have. And it displays the numbers one, two, three, for ideally here in this position of five to display five, but then I just deleted it. So it no longer displays five, click accept. This way you can avoid conflict or the overlap of labels when you combine or merge two different plots. You don't have to worry about this because looking at the other plot, you know, like this has to be five for this particular plot. In any case, you can always go here, save again same version you don't really need to make a new version for this just corrected a small typo and there you go you have your plots you can go file exit and here you see you have 
your four plots version one or AGR. And I can actually show the info file. So these are the different page offsets that are used. Um, you can just uh, look at this for a while, pause the screen and take a look at this for a while and maybe make a note of them and try to reproduce the same thing in your plot when you're trying to make, the, make these plots, if that's easier. Uh, but always um, make an info file or just take a note down somewhere about the page offsets. I know I've been stressing this too much and I can't stress it enough. Um, it's, it's just super annoying if you don't know what values you put in and you're back to square one where you're you know, like struggling to get the plot in the right place. Um, yeah, that's all we have for this tutorial. I hope you find this tutorial very helpful. And please, uh, please post any of your questions in the comments, not just about this tutorial, but if you have any questions in general about X and Grace or plotting in X and Grace, uh, please post those questions in the comments and I'll try to make tutorials that address those questions in particular.